Welcome to the Argonaut Weekly. I'm joined here with head women's soccer coach Joe Bartlinski. Joe, the, the women's team undefeated in Golf South Conference play. You guys picked up wins against West Georgia this week and Valdosta State. Uh, talk about the, the team's performance so far in conference play. Yeah, happy we're finally getting into conference play. Here we're into October and we've only had three home matches. And so it's been a, a tough September on the road. And now we're finally getting back home, getting into conference, things that we're a little bit more familiar with. So uh, a big win to go to West Georgia and play at their facility and, uh, and get, get a result. And then to be able to come home and uh, put on a pretty good result against Valdosta State, you know, pleased uh, with the direction we're going now. Picked up the win at West Georgia, one nothing. Tina Murray scored the goal just two minutes into the second half. It was a really windy day. You guys couldn't get much going. Uh, what were, what was y'all's strategy going into that game, knowing that the uh, the weather conditions that you were going to have to face, and uh, how did you guys pick up the victory? Yeah, we knew it was going to be difficult. Anytime you go to West Georgia, uh, they're going to play uh, very hard, and, and more credit to them uh, for the 1-0 result. Not not things that we didn't do, but a lot of credit. Uh, for West Georgia for coming out competing, uh, very very windy day. Uh, we got the goal we needed, defended well, and uh, got out of beautiful Carrollton uh, with the win. And then you guys took on Valdosta State this mm -hmm. weekend. Uh, they came in undefeated. It was the first matchup between you guys and Valdosta State. Um, you guys really put it to them, five to nothing. Uh, had players come off the bench and score big goals that uh, you know their first of the season. Lindsey Foy recorded two herself. Uh, talk about. You know, how big it's been with all the injuries you guys have suffered this season, having players come off the bench and really uh, step up big when they're needed. Yeah, those, those youngsters train just as hard as uh, the starters do every day. And so we knew that uh, we could rely on them to step in. Valdosta State, very good. A uh, brand new program, but they had uh, quality wins against, you know, uh, Christian Brothers, Montevallo, and, and others in the conference, UAH. So we knew that they were going to have quality. Uh, Hard-working Georgia kids, uh, they have something to prove, undefeated in the conference. So this was a good test. We prepared well the day before, uh, so we kind of got that West Georgia game out of our way, uh, prepared, and uh, showed well in front of the home fans. You guys will take a break this uh, this Wednesday from conference play, and you'll mm -hmm. take on Young Harris, kickoff scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys going to do to prepare for Young Harris? Uh, rest a little bit. Uh, that West Georgia trip was an 18-hour epic journey, as you recall. Uh, left at 7.30 in the morning, got back at 1.30. Uh, so we're going to rest a little bit today and then get back uh, tomorrow on the training uh, ground and, and, and work on some things that we need to prepare for Young Harris, a, a very good team, uh, very similar to, to Valdosta State, hardworking, energetic. Uh, uh, they work hard for their coach, so it's going to be a good match. The women's soccer team will be back in action against Young Harris at the UWF Soccer Complex.